Hello everyone, today in this video we will be solving the 5th module of uh, 21 Mat 11 and in this module mainly we have the topics like uh, rank of a matrix, consistency and solution of uh, system of uh, linear equations and Gauss elimination method, Jordan method and uh, Seidel method and uh, finally we have the relics power method. Okay, So let's get started with the first topic and before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. So let's get started with the first topic which is finding out the rank of a matrix okay so you have been given this uh, matrix here i have to find out the rank okay so in puc you have done the things like the row elimination method and all so the those same thing we will be applying here so observe one thing carefully here what you have to do to find out the rank of a matrix is convert this matrix into eclon matrix so how to do that is by, uh, by as follows okay so when you get this uh, matrix here one thing you have to observe carefully is that if you have one here you want zero here okay wherever uh, one is there here be, uh, below that zero should be there so if you have um, one here and below that you'll have all the three zeros and this is for the just for the first row and uh, for the next um, column you'll be considering the second row be, uh, below all this it should be zero and for the third row here it should be zero and for the fourth row uh, here it can be any number okay so that's all what we have to do uh, and after that is achieved we'll be finding out what is the rank of the matrix so for achieving here as, as uh, zeros here for uh, for example uh, first one will show rest is the same so this is which one row one this is row two this is row three this is row four so, uh, to get zero here what you will do we'll subtract this row with this one if you subtract you'll get as zero here so what you'll write is equal to r2 is equal to r2 minus r1 right r2 is equal to r2 minus r1 that's what i have written here r2 is equal to r2 minus r1 so we get this zero here same thing here also r3 is equal to r3 minus 3 r1 right r3 minus 3 r1 if you do here it will be 3 3 minus 3 is 0 J uh, you just have to not do for the uh, this element if you do the uh, operation for the first element like r2 minus r1 do it for this one also and for this one also and for this one also so what answers you get here for example minus 2 minus uh, minus 1 it will be minus 2 and uh, 2 minus 1 it will be 1 and uh, 5 minus 6 it will be minus 1 so what answers you get 2 minus uh, 2 1 minus 1 that's the same thing i have written here 2 uh, minus 2 uh, 1 minus 1 okay minus 2 uh, 1 minus 1 here also it's same so we'll be just applying the uh, things to get 0 here and the whole operation will be applied to the whole row okay so the same thing you'll do here for the first column after you get zeros focus on this one to get zeros uh, in the, uh, in this column your focus is just to get two zeros here then one zero here so you get two zeros here what you can do subtract this row with this row you'll get a zero here right that's what we'll do here r3 minus r2 so you'll get zero here and the same thing goes for r4 as well uh, see what makes a zero and uh, do the following operation after you have done that do for the third column as well and after that it's over now count how many non-zero rows are there non-zero rows means all the uh, means element should uh, be uh, zero means if it is all the elements are zero it's a zero row if it any one of the element is non-zero it is a non-zero row so by that this is a non-zero row non-zero row non-zero row here it can't be considered because it's all uh, elements are zero so this is not considered so how many uh, non-zero rows are there that is the rank of the uh, matrix okay so in this case the rank of the matrix is three okay so we'll be using this uh, means um, concept in the for the a type of problems so make sure you know this concept very well okay so we'll be solving the first type of uh, problem which is gauss elimination method and uh, the question is this one okay we'll be given with three equations this is the first equation second equation and third equation we'll be writing the equation in this form here and then we'll be making the matrix okay how we'll make the matrix here just see the coefficients 1x 1y 1z so write 1 1 1 1 uh, minus 1 and 2 1 minus 1 2 3 1 1 write 3 1 1 then write x y z and write what are the values given is 6 5 8 after you have done that it is of the form a x is equal to b so a is nothing but this one x is this one and b is this one okay after that you will be writing a dot b a colon b a colon b means you'll be uh, removing the x value x y z values here and you'll be just uh, directly writing in the same matrix okay then you will be applying the same things like the row elimination methods and all your only task is to get two zeros here one zero here and any number can be here after you do that uh, you'll get the means you have to apply the uh, row operations to the whole uh, means all these terms here including this also so when you apply the row operation and get the answer here like uh, zeros and all so what is the answers you get here that's the values for x y and z okay but before uh, writing the values of x y and z as 6 minus 1 and 3 one thing you have to confirm is if the rank is equal so what is the rank means how many non-zero rows are there one two and three three non-zero rows are there so the rank is equal if the rank is equal you have to do one thing here you have to write this in this form what answer you got here the same answer you will write here okay this is the thing which you got here after writing that one you will be writing what answer you got here 
okay these two things will be written here and then you will be uh, calculating your uh, mul uh, mul uh, matrix multiplication when you do the matrix multiplication what answer you get for x y and z that's the uh, actual answer okay so when you do that you will get three equations here and by these three equations you can easily find out the values of x y and z so that's the final answer okay this by the Gauss elimination method. The second method is the Gauss Jordan method. And the same thing we'll be doing here as well. We'll be having three uh, form, I mean, the equations given to us, and after that we'll be writing it in this form. And uh, the the only uh, changes here is that you have to achieve it in this form. Like the final um, means the matrix which you have, it should be of the form one, one, one. Okay, if the we got it in that form and the rank is also equal, the values of x, y, and z directly we can write it as three, two, and five. Okay, that's all the difference between the previous one and this one. Okay, rest all the same. The third method is the Gauss serial method. Here also three equations are given to us and it depends on um, the iterations. Okay, this is the iterative method. So uh, basically what we have to do, we have to write, uh, we have to first confirm that this for the X term, this for the Y term, this for the Z term. One thing you have to check for this uh, method is that the X terms coefficient in the highest among this one. Is it highest among this one? Like 10 here. For y it is 1, for z it is 1, coefficients. Highest one is here, so correct. Here also you will check, for y it is highest, yes. For here uh, you will check, uh, z it is highest, yes. So if it is all 3 is yes, you can move ahead, okay, else you cannot. So here what you will write is, x is equal to 1 by 10, 12 uh, minus y minus z, okay. So you will be just writing what is x here, keeping it x here, uh, shifting the rest terms here. You will be getting this answer here like uh, x is equal to 1 by 10 of uh, 12 minus y minus z. Same thing you do for y and z as well and after that we will be starting the operation. Okay. So uh, let x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0. This is the initial values and after that you will be doing the iterations. How many iterations? 5 iterations. Okay. So it is very simple. What you have to do is just uh, write the values of x, y and z as 0 and substitute those values here and find out what answer you get here. If you get 1.2, update this as 1.2. Then in the next iteration for y, you will be writing this value instead of 0. Okay. So here you have x minus z, right, for y, the equation. So instead of uh, 0 for x, you will be writing 1.2, which you got here. And uh, z is 0 uh, as usual. So what answer you get? 1.08. So instead of y, you will be writing 1.08. So for z, what you will be using is 1.2 and 1.08. Okay. For z, what is the value? 12 minus x minus y. So for x you will be writing 1.2 here and for y you will be writing 1.08 and finding out the answer that's for the z value. Then z will also be updated as this one. What answer you got in that uh, place. Okay, That answer will be written here. So uh, three values for the x, y and z are updated here. The same thing you will be doing for five times. In the next uh, uh, iterations you will be using those values of x, y and z. New values will be substituting and finding out the answers here. After you do for the five steps here, what answer you get for the equations like 0 0.996 1 and 1 uh, approximate it and what answer you get is the final answer okay so what you get is x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 1 okay this is how you uh, apply the gauss seidel method coming to the last topic which is the relix power method here what we have is the uh, largest eigenvalue you have to find out for the given uh, eigenvector so uh, your first step write this as a and x, x uh, 0 as this one and this will be transformed as 100. 0, 0. If they give 100, 0, 0, write in the vertical form. This is the first step what you have to do. Then uh, multiply a with x0. x0 is this one and uh, a is this one. Just uh, do the matrix multiplication. When you do it, you will get as 201 and the, uh, this is the main thing here. After you get 20 minus 1, which is the uh, greatest number here. The greatest number is 2. So take 2 common. So what you will have 1, 0 and 0.5 means if you multiply 2 with these terms, you, sh you should get back this term. So the answer which you get here is the next x, okay, x1. And lambda 1 is the uh, this value which you get here. Now after you have got the, the lambda 1 and x1 here, use x1. x1 you will use and multiply again with the same a value. a will be remaining constant in all the iterations. Just what uh, this value you got here, that you will be using here. Again, do the same thing. What answer you get here, use it here. Like that, how many times you will do? Uh, at least like four times you have to do, uh, four or five times you have to do. After that, approximate what answer is this one, like 10.9973, uh, you can write it as 101. So after that, uh, the x value is 101 and uh, lambda is equal to 3. So that's the highest eigenvalue and the eigenvector. Okay. So lambda value also you have to write what's the final answer which you get, like here it is 2.9918. So what is this value actually is, what uh, answers you are getting here, right? means after you have got this one, you are uh, choosing the greatest value and uh, separating it. So like that, after the five iterations, what uh, matrix you get here, and after that, choose the greatest value here, like 2.918, um, which is the highest value among these two. 
so it's actually not a 991 it's it's 9945 so anyways you'll be choosing that value and writing here as lambda that lambda also will be uh, approximated to the nearest value and what answer you get is the lambda value okay so you just have to find out the eigenvector and the eigenvector value the largest eigenvector and the eigenvector value for the uh, given uh, matrix so that's all and uh, focus more on these type of questions these are the repeated questions in the previous year papers so that's all for module 5 and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one